Dr. Harry, I'm from Stoham Haitham and Dr. Kniku. I thought it was like really interesting to hear all their thoughts, I guess. Yes, statements. Um, that was really intense what was going on about the both sides. And I really don't know what to think about it. I don't know what time. So. It was a great experience to see people and the ones who make the decisions for our products. Well, it's really a great pleasure to meet with the, the Shkwetlum Youth Ambassadors. This is really an important trip for them to have the experience of seeing where uh, you know laws are made here in British Columbia. And uh, it's been a very interesting time uh, uh, chatting with the Youth Ambassadors and uh, hearing about their backgrounds and, and what they're interested in. And uh, you know to have them here at question period, I think, is, uh, was fun for them. And uh, looking forward to, uh, to having lunch and also uh, really neat to see that they're going to go on to Ottawa to see what happens in our nation's capital and contrast the difference between provincial politics and federal politics. So it's a great experience for them. It's a great program. I hope more and more uh, youth uh, in the Shkretlam uh, uh, area will, will apply for this position next year because I think it's a great experience. Hey, well, uh, yeah, it was what a fantastic opportunity to meet with these uh, fine young ladies from Shoquepam uh, First Nations. Uh, I think it's absolutely amazing that uh, they made this trip down to Victoria to learn a little bit about local government or provincial government and how we uh, how we operate. And I understand they're also off to uh, Ottawa tomorrow. So uh, yeah, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. I think it's just fantastic. These young ladies are taking initiative to learn a little bit more about how government operates. It's absolutely great to have um, the visitors today and to have them come from rural BC to see what we do in Victoria. And uh, certainly to have First Nations youth is exciting to me because I represent a lot of First Nations bands. And to talk about leadership and the importance of governance uh, with young people who can make a difference in their community is really important to me.
delighted to join 3U from the uh, First Nations Ambassador Program and of course they're from my riding so that makes it extra special. As you can imagine getting all the way to Ottawa is not something that happens often in terms of coming to Ottawa so a treat for me not only to show them Parliament and to talk about our democratic process but also to encourage uh, young women into politics. I think it's more important that we continue to get more and more women involved and so hopefully this trip will be a little bit of an inspiration for them to think perhaps about politics and the role they could play in terms of making Canada a better country. Welcome. I'm Nancy Green Rain. I'm a senator for British Columbia. I'd like to welcome the Shwepik Youth Ambassadors to their visit in the House of Commons and the Parliament buildings and the Senate of Canada. Canada's government is made up of a bicameral system, which means there's two houses, the House of Commons and the Senate. If you'd asked me years ago, would I be in the Senate? I would have never believed it. Um, but I was very, um, very honored to be asked to sit in the Senate, and I'm finding it hard work, um, constant work, but very, very interesting. I sit on three committees, uh, the Aboriginal Peoples Committee, the Fisheries and Oceans Committee, and the Social Science and Technology Committee. So that means when I come to Ottawa, I don't have much time for anything, but I will always find time to welcome young people from the Shkwepik Nation so that they can see how our government works. To, to meet young Canadians like this because as I said you know uh, if this visit to Ottawa and visiting Parliament and meeting with ministers and senators and members of Parliament can pique your curiosity to want you know to become you too involved at that level especially young women as I just said you know uh, uh, women uh, do constitute a, a majority of Canadians and yet you know they're not represented in large enough number in the house. So it is you, these young girls who can uh, change this by getting involved. So, you know, when you get back home, continue uh, getting involved at the community level. And, you know, as, 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 as you move forward, uh, you, know, you might want to consider representing your people because, you know, it's the, uh, there are people who score and who think they can score just yelling uh, from the bleachers but you can only score when you are on the ice or in the field. And this is uh, what I encourage you to do. So the Youth Ambassador Program was just a really great experience overall and I just really enjoyed being able to be with everyone and meet a bunch of new people that were really interesting. It was so fun to go to the Parliament buildings and the legislature and I would have to say it was probably one of the best trips that I've ever gone on. I got to learn about all the different people that make up the Parliament and the MLAs and such and I got to know what each of their jobs and how each job contributes to making everything that we have here in Canada and that we see as it is. And just that they're all really great people who are willing to help whoever they need to help and they're determined and I would like to be somebody like that someday. Uh, I found it really interesting that we got to go on this trip and everything we learned throughout the week, like the differences between the government in, in Victoria and the government in Ottawa. Like there's a lot of different jobs that are done in the two different governments and I found it really cool that there were people like so are like really into all that and it was really fun meeting Jackie and Kathy and Terry um, and question period was really awesome in Victoria and really interesting. Like having them like like go back and forth at each other like that. It was like kind of awesome and funny. <laughs>
the question period in Ottawa is like so much different from the question time in Victoria. Like Victoria is like all theatrical and the one in Ottawa is sort of like that but it's like more serious. It was really interesting to compare and contrast between the two. And it was really fun getting a tour of the Parliament building and the Supreme Court and the like, like just great tour. Um, yeah, it was really good experience. And for all the youth out there that were too scared to um, enter and yeah, enter in this thing. It's really good experience for you. I suggest that you do it. I found my last and final day from the ambassador field trip. Um, it was very interesting and inspiring. I thought it was really fun. It was like one of the best experiences I've had in my life so far. And I'm hoping for many more. Um, well, I was at the Parliament Buildings in Ottawa yesterday. Bernard Villacord has reopened my dream that I've had a couple years ago was being a First Nations counselor slash mentor for Aboriginal youth because I've had experiences such as theirs when I was younger and I've turned my life around completely with uh, programs and all those kind of things and I believe that anyone can turn their life around they just have to believe in themselves and just do it. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know to always follow your dreams and pursue it wherever you want to go in life and you may never know where it could lead you. It could lead you to what? Into politics. <laughs> you gotta be able to think big and not let anyone negative bring you down because that will really bring you down the negative road. It's not so, you're not really gonna get anywhere, but if you ignore those negative people and listen, and listen to your heart and what you want and to the people that are around you that are supporting you, there may not be much, but you can listen to them asking questions and don't ever be afraid to ask them.